Studios. It's America's Voice Live with Amanda Head and Jesse Kelly. Welcome back to America's Voice Live. I am Jesse Kelly, and so often we talk about the evils of socialism, uh, how, how horrible socialism is, and we don't want socialism to come here in America. And it, it's just, it, it, we act like we have a good concept of it, but the people who really, really hate socialism are the people who've actually lived through it. And our next guest is an attorney and author of what sounds like an amazing book that the title alone jumps out at you. The book is called Saving My Assassin. So attorney Virginia Prodan and author Virginia Prodan, welcome to the show. Tell me, first of all, how did you come up with this name? What is your book about? Thank you so much for having me. I um, believe that the, the title of the book wants to incorporate um, that our lives is um, written uh, by a God who loves all of us and loves me and you and even our enemies. And through his love, we can share the gospel with even with an assassin, like it was in my case, and uh, God can um, capture uh, his, uh, his life. Um, Amen. And I believe we actually have a promo of that. Yes. I should be dead, but God had other plans. I spent my entire life searching for the truth. That search led to a life of intimidation and possibly even death. I was beaten, tortured, my family was threatened, all for defending Christ and standing up to an evil communist regime. My life led to a moment, a moment when I met him, a towering armed assassin. It was then that I felt the divine call to share Christ with the very man who was sent to kill me. Virginia, let's begin at the beginning. That accent you have doesn't sound like it's from New Jersey. <laughs> yes, that is so true. Uh, I'm originally from Romania, and during the communist regime, socialist and communist regime of dictator Nicolae Ceausescu, I defended uh, Christian and human rights cases because our dictator, the, the more he got power uh, over people by taking property rights, freedom of speech, and so forth, he started to believe that he was a god and he declared himself god and he control every single part of our life. In fact, I am calling socialist and communist Romania that I live under uh, dictator Nicolae Ceausescu, a land of prison and, and a land of lies. And that's what socialism is all about. Tell people what it's like going to buy food under a socialist or communist regime, because so many people take for granted, I take for granted, we, we get in a car and we drive five minutes to the grocery store in America, and we walk in and we have endless amounts of shelves of food. It seems like it's a sea of food and we just assume it's like that other places, but there are so many stories out there of people who've come from horrible regimes like that. They walk in a grocery store and they break down crying because they've never seen so much food in their life. What's it like just getting basic supplies like that? In, in my book, I describe how people will stay for hours and sometimes for nights from evening to the next day to uh, wait for food 
when the government will bring the food and many times uh, they limited amount of food. Um, I also describe how uh, people were put in jail. I had a lawyer um, just across the street where I used to live, and one day he stopped at the grocery store to buy some meat, and he was surprised that the price of meat uh, was increased, and he only said yesterday the price was different. Is the government increasing again the price? Guess what? From the store to home, he disappeared. In fact, I want to tell you that when I came to United States and I went to the grocery store, first of all, I was amazed by the color. Then I, I thought that something is wrong because I thought, what's going on here? There is no line. Nobody is buying food. Is this food just for exhibition? Uh, people That's have nice. no idea. Yes, people have no idea what is, you know, the price that the government established, how the government manipulates. The common people had that kind of possibility to buy food. But the elites of the society, a small number of the government, will have um, uh, in a very special area not known by, uh, by normal people. They will have grocery stores only for them. And they, they were able to go and, and buy it. So they never knew the style of life that we had. That's the reason why the dictator will say, will starve us to death. And he will say that we, uh, he brought us the golden era and we were required to agree with him. Otherwise we will be put in jail.